Today's episode is made possible through the continuing support of Andy Larkin and dozens of other people just like you on Patreon. If you are interested in supporting the videos and like what you see, check out the links below in the description for the many and sundry ways in which you could get involved. Thank you, keep making cool stuff, and putting it on the internet. Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to be doing the J3 motor encoder. So we actually get to put something on the robot, which will be nice, like this is cool, but this is just hair extensions. Let's, let's do some fun stuff. So we've got our AMT102-V encoder. Um, this is a Amazon thing, easy to get. Though I think, if you check the video where I did the first one of these, I think I talked about um, don't buy it on Amazon because you could get them a lot cheaper from somewhere else. I think Mauser or DigiKey, one of those. Um, the instructions are pretty simple, but you're not gonna need those because this is, this is easy. You got this and I'm gonna take you through it. So dump out all your stuff. And in your collection of things, you're gonna have the little dude Okay, you're gonna have the little dude and you're gonna have the not little dude one. Do something artistic and fun with your little dude. Send me a picture when you do. Kind of curious to see how that plays out. Um, but you just need the regular one. And the actual encoder looks like this. So something important of note, as you look at the encoder, let me get a little pokety thing. As you look at the encoder, you'll see there's a little switch here and on is up. You wanna move three of those down. You want, they're in order, one, two, three, four, and you want off, 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 on. And what that does is sets your encoder to uh, the right spacing. So I'm gonna see, I think mine are actually all off right now. Yep. Mine are all off. So I'm gonna set my last one to on. So they're off, 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 on for one, two, three, four. And it's weird with the shadows, those look kind of backwards from what they are, but in my instance, despite your eyes may be fooling you. Um, so you want off, 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 on for one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna have a little, packet of these, you want the green one. The green is the 0.197 inches. It's funny, this is made in Canada, but the sizes are in inches. And I'm gonna grab my little knife again. So, you're gonna want a couple things out of here. And I'll break it down for you. So just dump them all out, cause you're gonna need more than just the green one. But the green one is the focus, that's that's what we really need. I don't need the other ones. But you will need the green one and the black one here. So you can get rid of everything else, but you'll need the green one and the open black one. To put this together is a really simple process, but it is important that you do it in the right order, so pay attention. You're gonna have the little dog bone wrench tool that looks like this. Now that's not actually a wrench, it's a shim spacer. And what it does is if you put this over your motor shaft, you've got two different sizes for two different basic families of motor shaft. You put that over the shaft and it, it spaces out how far for putting the thing on. Let me see if I can get you a shot of this. I might be able to, oh yeah, cool. All right, so you put this, here's our motor shaft right here. And we're gonna put this around the shaft. So you take this tool and it goes around the shaft like that. And then you put the green adapter on. Now what the green adapter does is the inside hole of this is only one size. Like that's just, that's how big it is. So all the different little colored bits, they're all, if you look at them close, you'll see they're all different on the inside diameter 
and the outside diameter is all the same, and these just adapt your particular motor shaft to this particular encoder. So you're also going to have the black one. We talked about that. Now you take, you put the green one on like that, and the black one comes over it, and it's going to, you turn it around and it'll hit in a certain way where it wants to sit. It's, uh, it's splined internally. They're like nesting gears. And you just push that down, and then they give you this tool, which you can use to push it down, and you'll feel it lock. Okay, you push it all the way down, it'll like chunk into place. And now that's snapped in place and friction fit on your motor, and then you take the shim out, the little shim tool, and now this is the right distance out on the motor shaft because it has to line up to this. So the next step is we're going to bolt on our little black piece here. Now our wires come off this side. You can see the wires coming off there. So we want this to come off the same way, otherwise it's going to look really screwy. So this is just four bolts to hold it on. They are M3 by 5 bolts. And you just line them up and get them started. Don't run them all the way down because there's a little spacer trick that we're going to do just to make 100% sure that we're concentric to the motor shaft. But just get them roughly in position. Get all your screws engaged and down most of the way, like leave them one turn loose. So, you're going to use this little tool again, and we're going to put that over the fitting, just like we did, and it's going to line up and make sure that everything is where it should be. And it should just kind of engage right on there, and then turn over the screws, and you'll have two knockouts through the thing, two holes for the screws, and we're just going to tighten that down. You don't have to go nuts with it. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want to make sure it's not going anywhere. This is an, uh, an excellent application for blue Loctite. So that's on, and now we know our panel's mounted, it's in the right orientation, and everything's aligned to the shaft. Now we take one last look at our switches, and we make sure that we're off, 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 on for one, two, three, four. That gives us our 512 bits or yeah 512 steps resolution now this has a couple little clips on the side and then one up here now this one do they all ramp yeah they all got a ramp to it so just line that up over there and push it on and it'll just engage and you have now installed a fabulous encoder for the J3 motor that's it it's that easy so the next step is you're going to have an encoder cable that'll look like this with the brown, red, brown, red, white, green, black. And that goes in with the clip towards the outside and just clips right in place. And then you got your encoder cable in, which in the next video we're also going to give a little bit of an extension to. But for now, you're done. You did a thing. You made a step. I'm proud of you. Post in the comments your pictures. Get in the Discord, the link's down below, and post your pictures. I want to see your robot and where you're at in the process. I want to see how you're coming along with this. And if you have any questions, if you hit a wall, if you're stuck on a step or something like that, by all means, feel free to get in my Discord. The link is down below, and I'm happy to answer any questions I possibly can. I don't work for Chris Annan. Um, he has a huge forum over on Annan Robotics. Check out his website. That's where you can get these kits. But uh, I work on this a lot, and I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, but between my Discord and his forums, there's a lot of people out here that are very happy to help you step by step in making your robot. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.